when we're doing a safety inspection of the tractor, just make sure the master guard's in place around the PDO drive. So when inspecting the PDO drive shaft, make sure that the safety guards are in place. We've just pulled up here and the safety guard's been damaged, so we're going to do a bit of a replacement. The next step is to determine which one of these collar bearings fit the PDO shaft. Uh, make sure the groove here is nice and clear of any debris and the tabbit is at the back uh, facing the uni. That one's the correct size, there shouldn't be any gap in between here. Here's an example of one that's too big, uh, another collar bearing that's too big for the PDO shaft. You can see there's a lot of slop there. Uh, that's a collar bearing that's too small. You can dip quite difficult to get on and you can see the two ends don't line up. The important thing is that the cover spins freely on the shaft. Uh, these are quite easy to unclip for greasing uni joints.